Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends on the energy. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. Um, I comment on everybody's... Um, on, I try to comment to everyone, okay? Because I, I don't know, I just like that communication. And with that being said, let's hop into your reading, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Who is Aquarius's person of interest right now? Romantically? Romantically? Okay, Aquarius, you may possibly be dealing with a Virgo or even um, not necessarily having open communication with somebody. All right, how does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? The star card. There you are, Aquarius, shining bright, All right? What is the current situation or issue? Current situation or issue right now in this situation. Six of Pentacles. Money can be a situation, giving to more than one person. It could also be a Capricorn. Um, what's an external influence or block for these two romantically? The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, there's Virgo. And what is the uh, outcome for this week? Second through the eighth romantically. Okay, beautiful. So you have the Prince of Cups here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, Pisces or Gemini. So I do want to say that. <sighs> okay, so Aquarius, I really feel like for whatever reason, and you guys may also be dealing with a Capricorn, Scorpio, um, or a Sag. I feel like there, there's been some type of revelation here. There's been some type of transformation, something that's kind of coming back to life, maybe something that, you know, wasn't where it was prior. Um, I also feel like it's kind of surprising and it's something that you've been waiting for for a period of time. Okay, you have the hermit here. So why is the hermit here for Aquarius of Crystal Victress with the Seven of Cups? You know, I think that in the Seven of Cups is definitely Scorpio energy, right? I feel like your person is being very quiet right now because they have a lot going on in their head. I think that they have, um, you know, if this person is a Virgo or even they possibly could be a Libra, right? A Virgo, Libra, Cus, or maybe they're a Libra and then in Vedic, they're a Virgo or something like that. Um, you know, I think that this person is really weighing out the odds. I think that this person has a lot going on in their head and maybe they're not necessarily vocalizing this to you. Um, they're just very confused. What are they confused about? The Ace of Wands. Maybe they're confused with whether or not they should reach out to you, whether or not they should kind of like extend that olive branch, whether or not, you know, this is something that they want to start over again. Seven of Wands reversed. You know, this can also be two, and I'm putting it upright just so you guys know, because I don't want the cards mixed. Um... But because this is reversed, like, maybe they just don't want to fight anymore. Like, maybe they just want to come back and say, like, hey, you know, it's not about who's, you know, holding their place stronger or longest. Let's just figure out how we fix this. Right? Like, how, how do we get back to a place where there's harmony? Like, I feel like this person is tired of things being uncertain, tired of things not being reliable. I also feel like this person is somebody who is always in their head. They're always thinking about the what if. I feel like they're very upset for some reason. It's like they don't like being an option or they're upset with how things are going, possibly even cancer here. Like they're pouting. Maybe, you know, something is not being offered in the manner that they like. So they're, you know, they're taking the kind of like, woe is me route. And for you, it's like, I don't have time for that shit. Um, person. Okay, Knight of Wands. Uh, this is Gemini or uh, Sagittarius. You know, I do feel like you're very sexually attracted to this person. 
I think that they're very interesting for you. I think that you guys probably have a lot of sex. I think there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of like, you know, and this could be Leo uh, or Aries as well. Um, but it's funny because this person, it's like they're fiery, but then they're also that logical aspect. They have that logical portion that kind of like kicks into play, I feel like. And it's like they're able to express and they're able to do what they say and say what they do. It's like, oh, you want this? Cool. I'll be there at this time. You know what I mean? It's like this person has the ability to really cater to you. However, I do feel like they're tired. They're tired of the same thing. They're tired of waiting for something because you do have the seven of pentacles here. So obviously something is getting to a level where it's just like, okay, you know, where do we go from here? And this is Taurus energy as well. So maybe this person has um, a Taurus in their chart or something of that sense. But, you know, I definitely feel like for them, it's like, yeah, okay, we love each other or yeah, we have strong feelings, but unless both people are willing to invest and, you know, uh, like really invest and learn how to give back to one another, it's draining. Like there's something about this situation that's very draining for this person. It's almost like some type of business transaction too. Maybe you guys work with each other or, you know, maybe this is something where this person is just waiting for some type of, maybe there's like a money issue here, but I definitely feel like for whatever reason, it's this person needs to focus or, um, how do I explain this? Okay, let me, let me go back. So because this is Taurus and Saturn, um, this person, how they show their structure and how they show that is for being very stubborn and very patient, right? Like this person is in it for the long haul. That's how they feel. However, they do feel like they're the ones that are giving and not necessarily receiving something in return. So I do think that that's hard for them. Okay, now you have the star card here um, for how you feel about them. Information with the eight of swords. You know, Aquarius, I think you go back and forth and it may be over a Gemini, whether or not you wanna be single, whether or not you wanna see them, you know, whether or not like, maybe this person is just too unpredictable for you and, or maybe there just needs more change. But I feel like for you, like you're very much in your head about this person. It's kind of interesting. Not saying it's interesting in the fact of like, oh, you know, whatever. But I feel like you're very much trapped in your thoughts when it comes to this person. And there's a lot of obstacles, I think, that comes with them. And for you, it's like, do I just say, fuck it, it's too much and retreat? Or, you know, do I try to see where things go? And I think for you, especially with this card, it's like you're really processing whether or not, like, you should give more to this, whether or not there's a level of growth here, whether or not there's a level of, of expansion when it comes to this person. Because why, why is Aquarius in their head about them? Because of the Empress, okay? Um, so Libra or Taurus, this can be because maybe they have a family. Maybe they have a wife or a husband or wife and kids. Uh, maybe this person is older or something. Why, why, why are they in their head about the Empress? Why? Princess of Swords. Maybe you found out some type of information about them. Right? Maybe you found out something when, you know, Princess of Swords. Like for me, that's somebody who's out there investigating, right? That's like, you know, those internet investigators, like they're paying attention to everything. They're paying attention to what's going on here. Because how does Aquarius feel about this uh, Empress? How does Aquarius feel about this, the Empress? That's her in their head about. Okay, the full reversed. Like, I don't think that you like it. I'm going to be honest. I mean, with the full reversed. Put it right here so you guys can see it. One more time, please. Can you make it super clear? And this is you, Aquarius. This is Aquarius and it's also Pisces. I feel like for you, like, you know what it is. Like, you're not stupid. You're like, listen, okay? 
if the fool was upright, you'd be like, you would have no idea about, you know, how things really are. But for whatever reason, you know what's good. And you're like, listen, I'm not dumb. I see what the fuck it's here for. You know, I see you. Look, it's like you're sitting here watching and waiting. And that can be on um, an Aries. Like you're watching and waiting to see what this person's movement is. Okay, I just asked hella questions. We got to move on. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are like, God damn it. Um, what does Aquarius like about this person romantically? The world, hold on. My cards are all upside down. Hold on one second. All right. How does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? Two of Pentacles. I think you go back and forth. I also feel like you're embarrassed about something. Why are embarrassed? Because of the Nine of Cups. I mean... Maybe you care a lot about this person, but it's almost like too much, like too many emotions almost. The lovers, maybe like you're really in love with this person, but you go back and forth because that's definitely Gemini. Why? It's weird. The moon, because there's something that's hidden. You feel like there's something that's being hidden from you, possibly Cancer or Pisces, Four of Pentacles, you know, um, I just think for you, it's kind of a little bit like mundane. It's the same shit over and over and over and over again. And I think that that's boring. I also feel like too, you know, or maybe if you and this person are not talking, it's like you're waiting for them to come back because you love them. And it's like, you know, that things are still there, except you just have to be in each other's presence. It's like coals, right? Like even though there's no flame, they're still hot. They're still warm. They still have something, some some type of depth there. What does Aquarius not like about this person? Death, abandonment. Maybe they left you. Maybe there's not enough sex here. Possibly a Scorpio. Possibly a level of distance between the two of you guys. Um. It can be just not enough. Maybe it's like, you know, here you go, but it's like nothing ever changes. Like it's still that very page energy. Like there's not enough being offered here for you to want to move forward romantically. Um, three of Wands, like there can be a level of weight here. There's a level of distance possibly, Aquarius. Maybe you met this person over the internet, to be honest. Um, what's something... Aquarius should know or what's something you want to let Aquarius know about this person what this person has oh okay deal with your drama this is kind of interesting and it says handle exes old hurt and unresolved shit okay so this may be how you feel about this person like no you need to handle your business before you come holler at me or this can be how this person feels about you if somebody has an ex that's popping up like i feel like that empress that's an ex right that's somebody that's still in the picture that's making her presence known you know what i mean and it's like nah, nah, no no you 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 handle your business before you come talk to me because i'm not the one to keep my mouth shut and you know, you're over here, you're playing with fire, okay? <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself, because I ain't the one, right? It's like when you have to tell somebody, you know, and you're in like a very like business setting or a corporate setting, you're like, don't let the suit fool you. Like the moment you have to tell somebody, don't let the suit fool you, like I ain't the one, like don't make me pop the trunk. It's like, that's when shit gets real. It's like, we can laugh and kiki and joke and all that, but don't get it twisted because I will tell you about yourself. You know what I mean? Like you fucked up and that's when you tell them, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's coming. <laughs> that's coming. It's going to be like, oh, there she blows. There he blows type of moment, right? When you pop off. Um, okay. So the situation is the six of pentacles. Why? With judgment. I, I feel like you or this person are realizing like maybe somebody's giving to more than one person. Somebody is constantly taking, one person is giving, and judgment is here to say, hold up, hold my beer, you know, I have to come in and set shit straight because this is karma, and if you're doing the right thing, kudos for you, your ass can stand on the rock. If you're doing the bad thing, you're taking a trip in the water, like you're getting kicked out. 
Um, I do feel like because this energy of judgment, it is the hangman. It's requiring a level of sacrifice for a period of time before something happens. Like there's something here that needs to happen in order or something that has to give, something that has to be uh, removed or something that has to be given in place of something else in order for this relationship to, you know, progress. I also feel like too, there, there's a lack of sex here and somebody is very defensive very very defensive possibly over a leo uh what are what are they stuck on let's be let's look stuck here in this situation the chariot moving forward moving physically moving okay that's cancer maybe you want to move with this person or move in but there's just not like like somebody has to sacrifice something either financially physically you know, job-wise, there's something, you know, in order to have forward movement with this person. Possibly a Taurus. Where is the chariot moving towards? The Six of Wands. Leo. It's moving towards being victorious, right? It's moving towards, you know being praised it's moving towards you know that person it's it's feeling a level of uh fulfillment it's feeling good about yourself it's king of cups <laughs> it's funny it's like come here just let me love you you know what i'm saying like let me build you up okay king of cups that's definitely scorpio energy or scorpio uh pisces or cancer I look at it more so as Scorpio energy and then also Leo too, because Leo is fire and maybe they have like a Leo moon, Leo Venus, Leo Mercury, a Leo rising possibly. However, this person comes off as very fixed. Like there's something here about that fixed energy, about being very practical and focused and attached. Also too, about having a level of strong emotions and a sense of loyalty. And I feel like that's what's holding things up. Four of Swords or a Libra. Um, it's almost like, you know, you get excited from anything or somebody's excited from, from, you know, even something so small because there's a lack of affection here. It's also, too, wondering, like, where does this go? You know, that's that Seven of Cups over here. Where does it go? Look, we have the Sevens, right? A level of uncertainty a level here seven here too it's like wondering like well what the hell where the hell are we going like what are we doing are we gonna work together are we gonna allow this to grow are we gonna be a family you know there's something definitely here about that all right one um card please for what Aquarius uh, what Aquarius needs to know about the situation it says go all in or get the fuck out. Um, and I know you guys aren't offended by this because you guys are hella blunt and that's why, you know, I fucking, <laughs> I love you guys. Like I'm here for the fuckery. You know, I just think Aquarius, like honestly, you, you guys have to decide, like, is this something you want or is this something you don't? And I know that attachment and really committing is challenging, believe me, for any air sign. However, if you want this person and you want something to work, you are going to have to go all in. You are going to have to figure out how things work, figure out how things come together as one. You do have the Eight of Pentacles here for what's blocking you or what is, you know, an external influence. This can legitimately be work, right? This can be the fact that there's an issue with money. Uh, this can be the fact that somebody has to work on themselves, right? Maybe somebody's in rehab or somebody's in, you know, some type of facility, right? Trying to work on themselves in order to grow. Um, you know, I feel like there's some type of, somebody is a teacher and somebody is learning. Somebody could also be in jail. I don't know why I think that. Maybe because he's in the orange jumpsuit. Uh, what 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 needs to be worked on or what is what is in the process temperance possibly working on some type of addiction whether it's drugs or alcohol 
whether it's sex. It's also too, what needs to be worked on is, is this whole process of, you know, merging, right? It's all about understanding the situation. Like we have an issue, we have a situation, maybe you and this person are together. Maybe there's a big fight, okay? So now it's about taking this, stripping it down, and then making it your own, purifying it, and then having something, you know, transfer or translate from it that that's so much different. But it's something that you can't see. It, it's some type of internal uh, transformation that's going on. It's equivalent to like the caterpillar and the butterfly, right? The devil, you see, this could be, like I said, something with addictions or something with you know, whether that's sex, whether that's uh, an abusive relationship, whether that's drugs, whether that's alcohol, what's the energy of the, the devil? Could be over money, right? It could be over the fact that somebody's, you know, really into themselves, really focused on money, focused, you know, on, on their way of thinking, on their way of doing things, nine of pentacles, Virgo. But it has to do, I really do feel like, about the material world. It's about what are you doing here right now to make things different. There's a growing period. There's a learning period here before you have that Ten of Pentacles, before you are gifted. Look, and I'm telling you that because you do have that at the bottom, right? And at the top, you have the Six of Cups. So obviously something is, is, is going to be given here except there's a lesson that needs to be learned and somebody has to be the teacher. Seven of Wands. That, that level of uncertainty, this level of like chaos and unbalance, it's like intentions need to be, be made clear right now, probably by you because you're at the bottom of the deck with what you want from this person, how you want this to work out. It's really putting in the time and the effort, and that can be a block, right? Three of Pentacles, okay? Capricorn, warmth, protection. It's also, too, that's Mars and Capricorn. It's also about, you know, going about this in a realistic manner, going about this, you know, and having some type of idea with where you want this to go, all right? Um, and for those of you guys that this has provided enough clarity, uh, thank you. I love you. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.